Happy Sabbath morning! So what are you having, Caroline? Smoothie. We are all having smoothie. Olivia, Catherine, me, Dad, and we are also having, to addition with the smoothie, barley, coconut, um, almond butter, raisins, milk, and probably a few more things. I think grapes over there. Yeah, grapes. And so, pizzas. Shouldn't show those. And that is what we're having for breakfast right now. We've got Jasmine and Teresa and Ari with us again. And we're just having Sabbath school, singing yeah. some hymns. Right, guys? It's a beautiful Sabbath day. And we're going to keep on singing. Hi, Catherine. Hi. You ready for lunch? Yeah. It's a nice Sabbath day. We're going to have a good lunch again today. We're going to have the lentil cold cuts. I froze them. Nice and simple. Yeah, nice and simple. I froze the lentil cold cuts that we had last week. And they actually, I don't think I'm going to do that again because they don't taste as good frozen. They don't But taste whoever good. wants them can eat them. I don't know. I can eat them. You can eat them? Okay, you like them. More bruschetta. Look at that bowl. Look at that bowl of bruschetta. And then we've got the homemade einkorn wheat bread. And we've got some hungry faces. And some lettuce. Oh, and some lettuce. In case anybody wants and sandwiches. And cucumbers. And so we can make sandwiches or just even like a sandwich. Yeah, I think we haven't prayed yet. How's that avocado? Um. Mm -hmm. Bruschetta. My bruschetta. Bruschetta. Do you like bruschetta, Caroline? Yeah. So, we're not doing too much today. Um, we had our lunch, and I was, we were thinking about going to Forest Preserve or the lake or something, but I can't get anybody moving to go. The, the children were finally willing to go, but now Curtis, he's kind of um, dragging his feet. So I'm just waiting to see here if we're actually going to go, and if we do, I'll be happy. <laughs> One thing that's kind of frustrating about where we live now, you know, I'm from Virginia. I'm from the um, Shenandoah Valley, the mountains, waterfalls, beautiful places to go and hike, but um, we don't have those here. We've got prairie, but I'm getting to um, appreciate it more. The prairie. Okay. I'm getting to appreciate the prairie a little bit more um, because it does have a lot of beauty. There's flowers and birds and things like that. So I'm getting used to it, but I miss those mountains. So anyways, we're just waiting to to get going here, and I'm going to go check on the children and see what they're doing. Santa's on the garage. Uh, so um, you guys are looking for toads? Yep. Hmm, you know I'm we have bricks. Huh? bricks. They love under those bricks. You think there's some toads under those bricks? Yeah. Oh, you know there's a lot of kids out here. Hmm. There's only eight of us. Yeah. Oh, they're going to be We're painting just picking their deck. And I don't know which color. Oh, yeah. I think it's ah! <laughs> You guys find any toads? We're nope. looking. I found a ground squirrel. Yeah, you found, found a ground squirrel? Right over there, Wait. We have ground squirrels. I, if you've seen the other video, you can see Nick, Nick got a good picture of the ground squirrel. They named them Missy and Pete after some friends of ours. <laughs> Silly. I think we need to get out and get it. Find, go find some nature by a lake or something. I gotta get rid of this. TMI. Wow. I gotta so get rid I of this guy. What does TMI mean? Finally, I think we're gonna go. Let's go to let's go to the forest preserve. Okay. Okay, I think we got Daddy rolling. Right? Come on, guys. Let's go. Come on, girls. Let's go. Mom, the stairs are blocked off with weed. You want to go 
Oh, we're back at the sledding hill. Do I? No, not really. We're back at the sledding hill, so we're gonna walk. We're gonna walk down here this time. Yeah, let's walk. We're gonna go down. We're gonna walk down through this trail. Yeah. Somebody want to hold Caroline's hand? Yeah, yeah me. All right. Hey, hold the swimming Let's go down this hill. Yeah, Let's on, go down this hill. Oh, trail. it's a steep one. We gotta wait Stop. for the baby. There we go. Let's go. One thing about down here is that there's snakes. Oh yeah, that's fun. Right? I don't know. I don't think I like snakes. I saw a little small one. Oh, is that that right? big. Not a big one. Probably foot long. Oh, that's okay. skinny. That's skinny. Skinny and short. Like Nick Let's kind of in. skinny and short. Right, Ami? Yeah. Skinny and short. Oops, put out the ball. So we're going to walk through this trail. It looks like there's nothing here until you walk up to it. You can see a little trail there. Oh, it's not very long at all. <laughs> you walk in and then you're right at the road. I'm coming. Oh, it's a deep, dark forest. It's really not that bad. We're looking for nature. We're looking for bugs and birds, animals and flowers, and children arguing. Can you hold my hand, Mom? Okay, Daddy's going to try to skip a rock. Mommy? Uh -huh. Daddy? Daddy! Hi, handsome. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Nice Sabbath, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Beautiful out here. It is. Except for the bugs. I wish we could do something about them. But yeah. we got our little natural bug spray. I'm sure it'd be a lot worse if we didn't have this stuff. Yeah, I think so. This stuff's pretty good, actually. Yeah, it's in a glass bottle. It's all herbal, too. Yeah. Not putting a bunch of poisons on your body. Right? Right. Do you want to have anything you want to share with the people today, Daddy? Uh, you know, this week I was thinking about a couple of things. One of them was... I think that's what we talked about microwave ovens yet, have we? No, you know we haven't talked about microwaves, no. It's probably good to talk about that a little bit. I don't want to put a lot of time into it. It's just, you know, they're not good. The short answer is they're not good. Mm. Um, whoa, I'm getting bit. Better get some of this bug spray up there. Uh... <laughs> The thing about microwaves is, you know, your food's already devitalized, most of it, you know. If you're not growing your own, the soil's depleted. So the food in and of itself has very little nutrition. That's why we, you know, we use the whole food supplements that we've talked about in other videos, especially the, the Ningxia Red Juice. But um, the other thing is, when you put the, from my understanding, when you put the food in a microwave oven, um, it changes the molecular structure. It, You've heard the term nuke it. You're nuking it. You're mm -hmm. you're putting the food in a form not only where now it's plus it depletes any nutrition that's left in the food. So now not only is your food not having any nutrition, but you're putting you're changing the molecular structure into a form where it's harder for the body to recognize it. Mm -hmm. And that's just more of a burden. The breakdown process and detoxification process that your body has to go through to to ex to get rid of the food. Um, is just more of a burden on your body, you know? Yeah. And we just keep putting all these burdens on our body, you know, the, the chemicals, the pesticides, the, the sweets, and the fats, and all the processed food that we eat. And just, you just expect your body to keep dealing with it, and dealing with it, and dealing with it, you know? And eventually, we're all uh, endowed with a certain amount of vital force or vital energy. Some of us have more, some of us have less. Uh, some of it's based on genetics. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, at the end of the day, you know, if you keep depleting that vitality, um, 
and you're bringing your electrical frequency down, what's going to happen is you're inviting a situation for disease, for sickness and disease in your body. So I know I remember one thing, one more thought on microwaves. I used to listen. There was about two months where I'm not going to say the name, but I was listening to a lady that she was involved with Young Living. She's really high up, and she had um. I'll be, be careful, Caroline. Sorry, Dad, go ahead. Anyway, um, this lady was really, she's really high up in Young Living. She's like a, you know, a crown diamond distributor or something. And she had a website that she talked, you know, she talked to a lot. Of, she deals with a lot of sick people. A lot of people call her and how to use the oils and stuff. And, but the one thing I remember, I listened to a lot of her training tapes for a couple months and, uh, the one thing I distinctly remember is she, the one of the first things she would do, you know, was tell people to get rid of their microwave ovens, you know. Mm -hmm. And she has a, she had a lot of hands-on experience dealing with sick people. Now I didn't agree with everything she said, but the, but it just kind of sticks out in my head that she, at least in her experience and her understanding, which is probably a little bit broader in mine, at least in that arena, she was very very um, emphatic about getting rid of getting the microwave ovens out of the home what I've heard saying? where people do experiments where they microwave the water that they would water their plants with and see that the plants that they watered that microwave water with weren't even growing yeah that's yeah. a you know that's a good point if the voice of God speaking to your conscience should be able to tell you you shouldn't be radiating your food you know it's fast it's convenient yeah. but um it's destroying you know we live in that kind of society we want everything fast and convenient to the detriment of our own health you know you're either and you're either going to spend time keeping yourself healthy or you're going to get sick and you're going to spend time dealing with it on that level. So you just, I mean, you make the choice, you know. And it's not just one thing, you know. Everything adds up. The food you eat, the air you breathe, uh, the way you live, the way you sleep, the, the amount of stress in your life, your relationship with God, all the, I mean, the whole eight laws of health that we have on our website have to be implemented if you really want to enjoy vibrant health especially in this time that we're living in and that's what I believe so live well and be strong